Yesterday, we witnessed a lot of surprises with the likes of Salzburg versus Brest. Brest winning Salzburg 0-4 was one of the most surprising things I saw yesterday. Now, Brest has won their first two games in the Champions League. Brest. Wow. Also, we saw how Arsenal won PSG 2-0. Like, I was very, very surprised seeing Arsenal winning 2-0. I was expecting that game to end in a 0-0 draw because we all believe in Arsenal defence line. I don't know for you guys, but I've said it before. Arsenal has one of the solid or most solid defence line this season. And the defence line have been helping Arsenal time without number. And they did it again yesterday. They were very solid. Not even considering a single goal. And has now used the mistakes of PSG to punish them, making them win 2-0. Also, we saw another goals in flow between Dortmund and Celtic. 7-1. Like Dortmund scoring 7. Are you Bayern Munich? 7-1. To Celtic, champion of Scotland. <laughs> Yesterday was really, really crazy. Inter Milan turned up for their team. All their players played well. They won Man City did the same thing. Barcelona won 5-0. Very, very surprising. All these teams did very well. Bayer Leverkusen, as expected, they defeated AC Milan. Just 1-0. So now, Xabi Alonso has won his first two games in the UEFA Champions League. And they are not weak side. Feyenoord, 4-0. Um, AC Milan, 1-0. Clean sheet also. So guys, that was what happened yesterday. A lot of crazy crazy uh, event and the goals came like there were a lot of goals and our 50 odd also the first three games was successful in which we had um Arsenal to win or draw we also had Bayer Leverkusen to win or draw and Inter Milan to win at full time in which these three teams won without conceding a single goal so if you want to still participate in this long running sleep it's not too late because the games there are a lot of games understand so you can go to my yesterday's youtube video and pick the game one after the other or join my telegram now and check for the booking code for this long running sleep i posted it yesterday so go to my yesterday's post on my telegram so the link to join my telegram is pinned in the comment section so you will not miss out on this long running sleep i believe that we were going to achieve this 50 odds because the first three games is already a success that was for yesterday now today we have only two matches for the long-running sleep of 50 odds, in which is um, Liverpool to win and Stormgrass versus Club Bruge over 1.5. So that is all the games we have for today in the long-running sleep for the 50 odds. So guys, if you want to participate, join my Telegram to get the booking code or go to my YouTube video of yesterday. So guys, that is by the way, if you are new to the channel, ensure you are hitting the like button and subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please, we are aiming for 1,500 likes today. As you are watching this video, ensure you are hitting the like button. So, um, let's dive into it. Today, we have just two slips of two odds. And the last slip is a five-odd slip that has today's games and tomorrow's games. So, wish ourselves for the best. Talking about um, our slip one, we have um, the first game... Okay, our sleep one has four four matches, 2.30 odd. The first game is a game between Shakhtar Donetsk versus Atlanta. Excuse me. We have Atlanta to win or draw at full time at 1.21 odd. Remember that Shakhtar Donetsk and Bologna played a 0-0 draw in the first leg. Likewise, Atlanta and Arsenal played a 0-0 draw in the first leg. So the first uh, match... So we have, um, I believe Atlanta should just should win this game with a scoreline of just 0-1. 0-1. It's going to be a tough one, but Atlanta should just come in, in clutch and win just 0-1. We have the next game to be a very interesting one. Lux Lille versus Real Madrid. And my prediction here is Real Madrid to win at least one half at 1.30 odd. We also have um, Liverpool versus Bologna. We have Liverpool to win at full time at 1.20 odd and finally Stumgrass versus Club Bruges over 1.5 goals at 1.20 odd so four games 2.30 odd and I believe we should be hitting these two odds I know Real Madrid might not use their top stars I remember I guess Thibaut Courtois is missing due to the injury he had against Atletico Madrid so I guess Lunin is back in goal 
I remember it was Lunin that helped Atletico, sorry, helped Real Madrid in their last Champions League, all their stages to the final before Courtois played the final. So guys, this is our sleep one. We shall say for the best. Heading to the sleep two, in which is um 2.10 odd, we have three games, 2.10 odd. Benfica versus Atletico Madrid. A very tough game here, but I will be edging on Atletico Madrid because I believe defense-wise, Atletico Madrid are there, you understand? And I believe they should just be able to hold on to a draw highest in this match. So we are giving Atletico Madrid to win or draw at full time at 1.45 odd. Dinamo Zagreb versus AS Monaco over 1.5 goals. And finally, the game I want you guys to predict for me. Aston Villa versus Bayern Munich. I had a lot of my friends saying Aston Villa is going to give Bayern Munich a tough time. Or that say Bayern Munich is going to win and so on and so forth. It's a game to watch. It's a game to enjoy. So guys, who do you think or what do you think the scoreline will be? Who do you think is going to come out as the winner? Aston Villa versus Bayern Munich. My prediction here is Bayern to win or draw at full time. So guys, three games two odds. You can also drop your prediction for that Bayern game. I want to just see what you guys think about the Bayern's game. So we have three games, two odds. Atletico Madrid to win or draw. Zagreb and Monaco over 1.5. Aston Villa, Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich to win or draw. And finally, the game that contains, the slip that contains today's games and tomorrow's matches. Six matches. It just contains six games. Okay, okay, okay. It contains... Second and third, yeah, today and tomorrow. Yes, I'm correct. Today and tomorrow's games. So we have five odds, six matches. Very, very simple, but the odds has value. We have from the UEFA Champions League, Lux Leo versus Real Madrid. We have Real Madrid to win at full time. I'm expecting Madrid to win this game 2-1. 2-1 or 1-0. 2-1 or 1-0. Real Madrid to win at full time. Liverpool versus Bologna. Liverpool to win at full time. Riga's football versus Galatasaray. Galatasaray to win at full time. Paok versus FCSB from the Europa League. We have Paok to win or draw at full time. Chelsea versus Gent. We have Chelsea to win at full time. And finally, Heidenham versus Olympija Ljubljana. We have Heidenham to win or draw in full time. So guys, this game consists of Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League today and tomorrow. So Real Madrid to win, Liverpool to win, Galatasaray to win. Pauk to win or draw, Chelsea and Haydenham. Chelsea to win, Haydenham to win or draw. But if you want to adjust this sleep, listen to me, if you want to adjust this sleep, adjust Galatasaray to win at least one half. Adjust Real Madrid to win at least one half. That is just one secret tip. Adjust Real Madrid and Galatasaray to win at least one half for these five odds. So guys, that is all today and I wish us all the best and I wish us success. We pray our long-running sleep and today's games go as planned. So join my Telegram now for the booking codes for the 50 odds. It's there. It's available on my yesterday's post. So please, please and please keep on supporting the channel and keep on showing love to the channel and I'll keep on doing my best. I know sometimes we win and sometimes we lose. It's football but I'll try my best to keep on doing all it takes to make sure winning comes more. So I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. And we pray today game goes as planned, like yesterday. So see you guys and have a blessed day and bye for now.